Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and what we're going to cover today are using secrets and environment variables in Next.js and specifically when we deploy it to the now serverless platform. Uh, just this past week, I launched my uses.tools website where you can create a profile and showcase sort of the different tools you use. Uh, same thing that Wes Boss has on his website, but here you can sort of create a profile and share it with everyone. And this is built in Next.js and the backend is GraphQL. Um, and I needed a way to basically get secrets available in two places. Um, the first place is in the client, in the actual React code. Um, these are not too secret because people can, can find them if they want to, but you sometimes need to expose different variables or keys there. Like when you're using Google, Google Maps, you've got your Google Maps API key. But also on the server side, which is where you want to put your really secret stuff, things like your, your database password and all of that stuff. So that's what we're going to cover today in Next.js and now. So I've got a very small Next.js app. I'll pull it up here, just close everything. So we've got two pages going on. The first page is the index, this is the home page, and we'll show how we can expose an environment variable here where these question marks are. The second page is sort of the backend code in Next.js with this new API folder. And this is stuff that will run on the server in the serverless environment. And we'll show how to fill in these question marks here. So if we start with the server, this is where you want to put your truly secret things that you don't want exposed to everyone. And the, the, the steps to do that are you'll first create a .n file. This is where you can store your local development versions of these environment variables. You won't want to commit this, so you'll put that in your gitignore file. And we'll create a demo key. This is our not super secret, but we wouldn't want to commit it to the code. And then we've got our demo secret, which is very, very secretive. Okay, like this. So now we've set up our environment variables locally. Now let's look at how we can set them up for when we actually deploy this to the now platform. So you'll go into your now.json configuration file and we'll add an env key. And here we'll put the different environment variables we want available. So that was demo key. And at this point, you wouldn't want to put ABCD because you're actually going to commit this file. So you'd just be exposing your, your um, secrets and environment variables. So instead, next or now, sorry, same company, but different products. Now has a way to basically reference variables that you've put in their environment. And you do that by demo key like that. And we'll do demo secret here below. Okay, so we've configured this file, but we need to send these actual keys up to the now platform. So for that, we'll go into the command line and we'll do now secrets add demo dash key. So that would be our ABCD. And then we'll do, we'll add the other one, add demo secret. EFGH. Okay. So now those will be available when I push this code up to the now platform. So how do we actually use these environment variables we've set up? So we'll go into our backend code and we'll replace these question marks with an embedded variable. So we'll access our process.env and on this object is where you'll find all of your environment variables on the server and we'll access our demo secret like that. So let's spin up this app and make sure that it's filling it in correctly. Maybe I messed up in some way. Drink a tea while this is loading. Cool. So if I go to the API GraphQL endpoint, I can now see that I'm accessing my super secret demo secret environment variable. And it's pulling this value specifically from the .n file because I'm in my local environment. Whereas if I deploy this, it would be pulling it um, from whatever we have inside of our secret that we pushed up to the now platform. Okay, so that covers the server side of it. There's two more things we're going to cover. The next is build stage environment variables. 
So whenever you deploy a Next.js app, it runs through the build process where it takes sort of all the code you've written and you've imported all your modules and it runs it through Webpack to output um, sort of a single JavaScript file. And that process is the build step. Or, and it's sort of on the server, it's on their environment, but it, it's building the code that's going to be output. So to have build stage environment variables, we'll create a .env.build file. And here we can put our demo uh, key, ABCD. So you could put the demo secret in at this point because just because it's available till the build stage doesn't mean it's actually gonna use it yet. So this is just making it available to be used. So we've set up our local environment. Now let's go and set up for when we deploy this to the now platform. So we're gonna add a build um, property here and it will have an env and the env we will just expose the demo key like that. Okay, so now we've got our uh, set up locally when .env.build, we've got it set up uh, when we deploy it to the now environment in this build env and referencing the secret that we pushed up to the uh, now platform. But it's not actually, um, available to our JavaScript uh, React code yet. And the reason is because just because it's available in the build stage, we actually have to tell Webpack to inject um, this variable into the JavaScript code that's being produced. And the way you do that is in the next.config.js file. This is where you can configure Webpack in any way. And it's also, uh, some Next.js configuration. And we're gonna add the env property. And here's where we can tell it which environment variables to expose to Webpack. So we wanted the demo key, like that. And where does it get its value from? The process.env.demo key, which is the build stage um, environment variable that we exposed. So by having done this, we've now exposed this build stage available into our client side, run in the browser, um, Webpack generated JavaScript code. So if we now go back to our index, we can replace these question marks with process.env.demo key. And again, this is where you put like your Google API key. Um, in the uses.tools, I put the host name of where the GraphQL is located and just some different things like that. Okay, so if we run this, it's already run, but let's just restart it because we changed the config. So that's just booting up and we'll go in a second, there we go. So we'll come back here and we'll go to the home page, and now we have it, we have ABCD available to us client side run in the browser um, and that's great. So why don't we stop this and let's actually just try to actually build this and deploy it up to the now platform. Okay, it just finished building and deploying so we have a URL available to us. So we can pop this open and we can see that we now have the ABCD um, when it's deployed to now, and if we go into API bleh, GraphQL, we also have our top secret EFGH available to us. Awesome. So we just covered how to set up environment variables sort of in three different places. We have our serverless side, which is our top secret stuff, like our password and our database password or whatnot. We've got our build stage code, which can be secretive because it's not necessarily going to be exposed to client side yet. But then we've gone in and we've told our Next.js app that we do want to expose client side in the browser, this demo key, so that we can reference it from inside of our React code. So I'm going to be deploying a small article along with this, which you'll find linked to below. Um, I haven't finished writing it yet, but just outlining the different steps we covered and I'll link to the different pages you can find on the Zite documentation, which is great. I just sort of had a tough time in my mind piecing together how you use these different types of environment variables. 
So I hope you found this useful. Um, Next and now are both awesome uh, frameworks and environments. So use them. All right, take care. Have a good day. Bye.